Good afternoon, Rudy Colin here with TechOut, and today we're going to be unboxing and setting up the Eero 7. This is the new Wi-Fi uh, mesh system from Eero. Um, they just came out, I believe, last week. Um, I just picked these up at Best Buy. They finally got them in stock at my local Best Buy. It was like 300 and some dollars for a three pack. I believe a two pack is like 179, 200, something like that. Um, so they are extremely, extremely affordable um, for a Wi-Fi 7 system. Let me look and see um, what I paid. Yeah, 349 for a three pack. Um, and then that is not the right two pack. Uh, I don't see the, well, the wrong three pack came up. Um, let's see here. But yeah, they're extremely affordable for Wi Fi 7 for Wi Fi 7 setup. Uh, 169 for one and then 279 for two. So depending on the size of the home you need and what kind of coverage you need, um, you know, you can get different, different ones and stuff like that. Um, if you've got like a small apartment, you're probably good with one. You know, maybe a single story home or a small two story home, you can get two. And then a larger three, uh, two story home, three story home, you know, you can get a three pack. Uh, it is a mesh system. They do have 2.5 gigabit uh, Ethernet ports on them. They do have two. So you can use Ethernet backhaul or you can connect other devices to them. Um, I am going to be connecting mine to my Ethernet switch um, via the Ethernet wiring that I have in my home. So these will be um, connected wired. They will not be a wireless mesh. Um, so these also do act as a router, but I will be connecting these at least at first to my existing Alta Labs Route 10 router. I really like that router, so I want to um, use that if possible. These do have a bridge mode support from what I've read. Um, they do, of course, recommend that you use these um, as the router, but I'm going to go ahead and just try and see how it works using my existing setup. So on the back here, we do have two, like I said, 2.5 gigabit ports. These are auto sensing ports. So um, they're both LAN or one is a WAN. It doesn't matter which one you use it will figure it out based on the incoming connection and adjust the port accordingly. So um, that is good. Uh, hopefully we have another one down on the bottom here because uh, there's only two right there. Okay, yep, there is our other one. I don't think these matter which which one you use for what. Uh, for what. Um, they all appear to be the exact same. So um, it doesn't specify one is a router or one is, you know, the, the mesh. Um, the mesh access points. So um, we're just gonna use them as that. Uh, we do have one ethernet cable here. They only give you one. This is meant for connecting to your modem. Um, so connect one of these to your modem so it can act as the router. Um, like I said, we're going to be using mine all three as just access points, at least initially. We're gonna try that setup and see how it works. You do lose some of the advanced features doing that from what they say. Um, and then we have your three USB-C uh, power connections right here. Um, I wish these had power over ethernet because my switch is a PoE switch, so I wouldn't have to plug these into power if that was the case, uh, but sadly it is not. So I'm going to go get uh, these all connected. I'm just gonna plug two of them up here wirelessly for the setup, and then I'm gonna plug one up uh, wired and um, get, the, get my app ready and connect them. Actually, let me download the app first while I still have my Wi-Fi um, working just in case we have any issues. Um, so we're just going to go to the app store on my iPhone here and download the Eero app um, right here. Ignore the little chip on my phone. Um, I dropped it between my car seat earlier when I went to go pick these up and it uh, chipped a little bit. So we have the app downloaded. Um, so I'm gonna plug these in real quick and come back and then we'll go through and see what we get for a setup using my existing router. All right, I just signed into the Eero app. Um, it is looking for a gateway. Um, I have a pulsing blue light uh, that just went solid. So um, we're going to name this one. It looks like it found it. It did tell me to unplug it from, um, from my existing modem and everything, or my existing router, but I have not done that. So it's still connected. So I'm just setting the Wi-Fi uh, network name and password here. So it's setting that up. Um, we still have a solid blue light on there. 
All right, so it is up and running. Uh, we're gonna finish that up for now. We'll set the other two up in a minute. Um, we'll update that later. Um, Built-in smart hub, we're not gonna connect it to Amazon right now. I just want the basics um, for the Eero. Uh, we don't want to subscribe to Eero Plus. Like I said, just want the basic uh, setup here. So um, that's what we're gonna do. All right, I wanna mess around with the settings here real quick and see what we have in terms of setting up other networks and um, that kind of stuff. Because like I said, I am using this with another router. I'm not using this as the router. So I'm just gonna make sure that is set up properly. All right, so I did go in here into the network settings um, and then I went to DHCP and that, and I changed this to bridge mode. So um, we are using um, bridge mode now. So it is bridging the connection. Um, it's not acting as its own router. It's bridging over to my existing router. So it uses that for uh, DHCP and um, all that kind of stuff. So make sure if you're using another router, you do set this to bridge mode or you're going to be using a router downstream from a router, which you can do, but you don't necessarily want to do. Um, so make sure you change that setting. All right, so I've been playing around with it for a little bit. I did connect the other uh, Eero here in the loft. Uh, so both of those are connected. I do have one more to take downstairs, but I haven't taken it down there yet. Uh, I did mess around in the settings. And one of the things in the network settings here, um, if you enable the Eero simple setup, that allows you to connect these. If you plan on connecting these uh, wired, uh, you can just plug these straight in and it will set up automatically. You don't have to uh, go through this setup in the app for each one as long as you're using them wired. Uh, again, we did enable the bridge mode, uh, which it does say your network is in bridge mode, IPv6, ISP settings, reservations and port forwardings, DNS, UNP features are, it, it stops there. I don't know if it's cut off, um, but I'm guessing that's telling you that it's controlled by your existing router uh, because obviously the router is going to be doing your IPv6, your DHCP, DNS, all that kind of stuff is going to be on your existing router and not on the Eero. So you won't see those settings here while it's in bridge mode. Now I did install the software update, which did get us a couple more settings down here on the wireless section. Um, we do have the thread, um, router or thread um, option in here. So you can enable that if you want to have your thread network on your Eero. Um, we also got this multi-link aggregation, which is a Wi-Fi 7 feature, and that allows Wi-Fi 7 compatible devices to connect using multiple Wi-Fi radios. So the Eero uh, 7 is 2.4 and 5 gigahertz compatible. The Eero 7 Pro does have 6 gigahertz as well. Um, so you can turn that on. You do have to have WPA3 enabled to do that because um, for it to be a Wi-Fi 7 connection, it does have to use WPA3. WPA3 is required for Wi-Fi 7 for that standard. So if you turn Wi-Fi, uh, if you turn WPA3 off, um, any devices that show their Wi-Fi connection type, like an Android device where it has a little number on the Wi-Fi icon for the uh, Wi-Fi standard, it will say six. Um, so if you want it to uh, be officially Wi-Fi 7, you do have to use WPA3. So just keep that in mind. If you turn that off, you will lose that. Uh, client steering is on by default, and that will uh, you know, just steer your clients to uh, different Euro mesh devices as you walk around your home or wherever you are. Um, so those are some of the network settings there that you can enable and change while you're using these as a bridge device. So basically they're just acting as Wi-Fi access points um, and they're not doing any routing functionality. So. Um, there's that. You can see what devices are connected offline. Uh, you have your status up here for your network, your internet, and then each ear device right here. Um, so you can also see, you can change the status light and stuff like that. You can see the connected devices here. Um, so there's only one connected device uh, on port one, which is basically just showing that the uh, other Eero is connected. It's kind of weird on this because it is, um, because it's connected to a switch. So it's showing other things that are connected to that switch too. Port two is where I'm gonna plug in the other Eero because it is a 2.5 gig, uh, gigabit port. So I can have all my Eero's connected via 2.5 gigahertz, or uh, gigabit, sorry, rather. And then um, you have your device information and stuff right there. So there's that. This one right here, again, you can see this one has all the wireless devices connected to it for some reason. Nothing has connected to, um, nothing's connected to the loft yet. Um, not too sure why, but everything for some reason is connecting to the one in my office. 
Um, it'll probably take a little bit for everything to adjust. I'm gonna have to go around and try to reconnect some devices. I did use the same network name and password. Um, so everything should be reconnecting on its own. Uh, but some devices are a little sticky and they just need to be rebooted or reconnected to the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go around and do that and get everything working. I did run a speed test when I was close to the other one and I got about 1.3 gigabits down um, here on speed test. Uh, so I will run that again real quick for you guys. Um, let me just make sure my IP is not gonna be, yeah, okay, we're good. Um, now in here, for some reason, I'm only getting about 600-ish. Um, not too sure again why it's kind of iffy on that. Um, I'm kind of still messing around with the settings. So I'm gonna give everything time to like adjust and kind of optimize itself. Um, I do have a two gigabit connection from my ISP and these are connected with 2.5 gigabit ethernet. So we should theoretically get um, over at gigabit speeds. Obviously it's Wi-Fi, so you're not gonna get, um, you're not gonna get full speeds, but you should get somewhere close to that. So we'll adjust the settings, play around with it. And uh, I'm gonna use these for a week or two and then I'll come back with a full review. I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And as always, have a great day.